Please welcome Fisker Chief Executive Henrik Fisker to the stage. Hey everyone, good morning. Uh, it's great to be here at the Mobile World Conference and I'm super excited uh, to show you the car today. I just came actually from our manufacturing plant in uh, Austria where I saw the first 50 prototypes in works. And that's when you know things are really happening when you start seeing cars coming down the line. It's super exciting. And of course, we are starting deliveries uh, this year, already in November. And I also have the latest update on our reservation numbers. We now have over 33,000 reservations for the Fisker Ocean between US and Europe. Uh, so that's super exciting. But, uh, you know, as a company, we put the planet first. So I'm going to talk about our sustainability all over this vehicle, but let's take a look at the vehicle. Turn it around so you get a good look at it. This is our European launch. It's built here in Europe, as I mentioned, uh, at Magna Steyr in Austria. So we know it's gonna be a super high quality vehicle. And I also will say we have a class leading price and range. Uh, the price starts at 41,600 euro. And uh, the range goes from 440 kilometers up to 600 and 30 kilometers, which is definitely the longest range of any SUV or crossover in our price, uh, which I think is incredibly important. Uh, also, of course, you can see the SUV design here. Uh, so we didn't go for the typical hatchback look. Uh, this is the fastest growing segment in the world. And we wanted just to make a really sexy, cool SUV that's also super sustainable. Uh, we brought this vehicle extremely fast to market. And why is this important? We are standing here in the Mobile World Conference where most of the technologies here are developed in 18 months or maybe even less. A car still takes four and a half years to develop, which means when you buy a new car today, the technology in that car is probably about three to four years old. And that's why your smartphone feels a lot more modern and faster than today's cars. So we wanted to change that, which is why we created a development process that is less than two and a half years, which meant we can put technology in this car that are 18 months away before startup production. So all the technology in this vehicle was chosen last year, which is why you're gonna see the latest state-of-the-art technology, which is why we have class-leading range, because we got the latest battery technology with a super energy-dense battery pack. You'll see inside the most advanced screen in the world with the highest resolution. And of course, uh, also when we start deliveries in November, we have a service network from day one. We pick up your car, we take care of the service, and we also have mobile service coming directly out to you. And of course, uh, connectivity is important. Uh, we have over-the-air updates, which we're going to take to a completely new level, where we are going to offer you several times during the year over-the-air updates, new features that we will continue to develop because we start with a super advanced car. And that also include our Fisker Intelligent Pilot. As you can see down here in front, we got the world's first digital radar. And that is way better than an analog radar. Why? Because instead of a radar just detecting the distance, this actually also uh, detects the height of an object and it dissects the object even better so you can see if it's a cat running over the road or if it's a child, or you can see if it's a motorbike, or if it's a car, or if it's a car or a truck. So this is a whole new radar that we're the first in the world to have. Of course, it's not because we were able to pay more money than any of the big car companies. It's because we could integrate this radar faster than anybody else. So yes, this radar will be available for somebody else later, but we're the first in the world, and I think that's really important. Now. Let, I, I, by the way, we might have a video of the Fisker Intelligent Pilot up there. I don't know if we have a little video.
part of our ADAS system. And we are looking at, the, at our FI pilot and ADAS in sort of three things. One is safety, the other is entertainment, and the third is like little annoyances. For example, you hate driving and then you're parking and you're scratching your wheels. So we are gonna have a feature that doesn't allow you to scratch your wheels, even if you want to. It's gonna be an active feature that's gonna block the steering wheel for you making a mistake. I mean, I would love that because every time I get a new car, I scratch the wheels. And I always have the most expensive wheels, by the way. Okay, sustainable interior, that's another feature. One of the things that I said in the beginning is we put the planet first and we mean it. Uh, I came from a factory in Austria, which is CO2 neutral, run by hydro. We, of course, sustainability is a big part of what we are doing. I believe, honestly, if we want personal mobility in the future, and we want to be able to drive in our cities, we need to get rid of, get rid of pollution, but we also need, as the car industry, to make more sustainable vehicles. So, of course, it goes about manufacturing, but it also goes into what are we actually doing on the vehicle. Exterior wise, it's very difficult to think about how do we make sustainable exteriors. We, of course, look at the type of plastics we use. So, for example, on the wheels, we have recycled carbon fiber. We have recycled plastic. Well, we actually had to uh, debate a long time with our supplier to get them to do this because this is not something that's normal. In the interior, we have a fully vegan interior full of sustainable materials. Again, we had to go out with suppliers, speak to them about how can we reuse, for example, plastic bottles fished out of the ocean, how can we get them in and make carpets out of them, make materials, and when you actually look at this interior, it's super luxurious. So I'm not missing five cow hides in there, and that's supposed to be luxury. We can make luxury other ways, and that's what we want to show everyone. California mode. Yes, we are from California, we want to have fun. We're gonna have a video up here showing California mode. What does that really mean? That means you push one button and all the windows go down. Also these little three quarter windows here, which normally never opens in a car, which is by the way, why the design line looks like this, because that allows the window to roll down without hitting in the wheel arch. The rear window also rolls down in this feature, which means you can put in long things in California. It might be a surfboard here in Europe. It might be a long piece of wood or your fishing rod or whatever you want or a pair of skis right now. And then of course the roof opens up. It's the largest open roof in the world with solar, as you can see over here. So we got solar sky roof, where we also have a video of the solar sky roof that you can see up here. And that basically gets you about 3000 kilometers if you're in a good, like in Spain, maybe not if you're driving around in Northern Europe and it's cloudy all the time. But the point is, we are trying to create as a sustainable vehicle as possible. And if you never start, you're never going to get there. So this is a journey. It's not a journey that's finished. It's a journey that we are working towards. I want to get back to the interior because we are yet at the, the, World Mobile, uh, the Mobile World Conference where it's all about technology, screens, etc. So we have the largest screen, or one of the largest, in a vehicle as a single unit, 17.1 inch, but it does something really cool, and you can see it up here. It actually is a revolving screen that turns, and the reason is when you think about your phone, you use it like this, but then when you watch a video, take a photo, you go like that. So you can sit and watch you know, a movie or play a game while you're charging in actual Hollywood mode, as we call it, uh, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, I think we do have a video of the Hollywood mode up here, so you can actually see the rotating screen as they put it up. And that's something that wasn't easy to develop because we also have to do all the crash tests and everything else uh, for this screen to work. Now, at the moment, the Hollywood mode only works when you actually park because it's a pretty big screen, 17.1 inch. Okay, so we are really a new car company for a new world. I think the world is changing so fast with technology and it's important that in the car industry we change as well. So we want to be at the forefront of that. As I mentioned earlier, by developing a car in less than a two and a half years, we can put the latest technology in this vehicle. We start deliveries here in November in many European countries as well as in the US simultaneously. And then of course we ramp up. We will have experience centers all over Europe where you can come in and see the vehicle. Uh, we already have signed up several service groups, but we will take care of the service. 
Our first experience center is in Munich. That's going to be launched this summer. Then we've got one in Scandinavia, in the UK, and of course, in all other countries in Europe as well. Uh, and we are super excited to launch this vehicle. So thank you very much for coming and come up and see the car close by. We're going to move all this stuff here. Thank you.